Good afternoon, St Mary's College community. Wayne Smith here. Um, sorry I'm getting this to you a bit late. As I look up the clock, it's now 25 past four. Uh, I actually started videoing this morning at 10 o'clock, but uh, been a busy day. So anyway, it's good that we've, uh, I can speak to you now um, and uh, I hope you're enjoying some of the sunshine out there. It looks like it's turned into a beautiful day outside. Uh, so I want to go through a couple of points or uh, give some information about what's happening over the next few weeks and then um, wish you a, a lovely weekend and a little surprise at the end. Now, could I say that uh, I was watching the football the other night and a post-match interview of a coach and the coach said, I'm not interested about dwelling too much on the past. I want to embrace the future. And I thought back about that for myself and our community and thought, well, we went through term through term two, and we can look at that past in terms of what happened with uh, remote learning, and now we've got an opportunity to embrace the future. And when I say embrace the future, that's what our staff have done all this week. We have worked very, very hard uh, in lots of meetings, uh, discussing what happened in term two and the way learning took place and all the issues and all the positives and all the things that can be improved. So we had lots of questions. Um, and it was a great way of uh, the whole staff community giving a lot of input into what we can do uh, moving forward in Term 3. Could I please let you know, if you haven't received already, uh, in your email box, the infographs uh, put together by Mrs Bueller, our Deputy Principal Learning and Teaching. They're one page uh, diagrams or summaries of what's needed in terms of the remote learning for parents, for students, and we also have them for staff as well. Uh, they have been emailed out to everyone. They'll also be on the website. And so uh, if you have any issues or queries or concerns or questions, um, there's, you know, the uh, email addresses uh, to send them to. Uh, all that information, of course, in terms of email addresses is on the COVID-11 update, which also went out today. Now, in regards to on-site supervision, uh, thank you to the parents who have applied for that. Um, We're putting the roster together now. A couple of points I'd like to make about uh, students on-site. In term two, uh, we honoured what the criteria was um, and we're very supportive of the parents. We're going to do the same again, but please remember the stakes have raised in Victoria in regards to um, stage three restriction. Uh, and we are very conscious for families, for students and staff uh, that there's as little movement as possible. So please be aware, only send your child to school for online, sorry, on-site supervision if it's essential. Otherwise, the safest place to be is at home. Staff will be rostered on. Staff will not be here five days a week uh, during the next period of uh, stage three. Um, we want staff to be able to work remotely as well. So we'll, some days we'll have the skeleton staff and we, uh, those staff also have to teach their own classes during supervision. So please, please be aware of that. If you have any questions or queries on that, uh, don't hesitate to, to email me. The, uh, and also with that 1pm Thursdays when that application form has to, to be in because it, there's a lot involved in getting the staff rosters together. Um, for supervision. Uh, the wellbeing team have been busy putting packs together. Uh, uh, Mel Nuttall, our college counsellor, Mel has done a lot of work in that area. We have approximately 120 packs that are going out to various students. Uh, if you would like more information about that, um, please email um, Mel uh, at the counsellor at smcmore.catholic.edu.au. If there is a, a need at all for counselling service to be activated for um, one of your children, there is a referral process that we follow and you can find out more information about that uh, by emailing the office. Also for yourselves, if uh, um, I'm very conscious, we are all very conscious that no one's an island uh, at the moment. There is so much that um, is confronting everyone there's stresses, there's anxieties, there's all sorts of different things. As I said in the COVID update number 11, there's a few things about COVID-19. Uh, the goalposts move daily, there's questions followed by more questions and there's lots of contradictions. 
And that's not because anyone's doing the wrong thing generally, it's just this is the, the state of this virus and what it's causing. So communication's important, connection's important, talk to people, link into people. Um, we expect the same as staff because all of us at times will go through frustrations over the next coming, coming weeks. But if we stick together, we work together, we put a hand up if we need support, uh, it will be there. And especially uh, Mel is very conscious of that in her role uh, as a college counsellor. So uh, a lot of good work being happening there and there'll be also the student pastoral care surveys being done um, over the weeks. So we get data in to look at uh, if there's any more support needed in particular areas or focuses needed, which is great. Uh, careers and Year 10 subject selection for 2021 for Year 11. We haven't forgotten that in about two weeks time. Uh, Mrs. Gordon, the BCA coordinator, and also Mrs. Oakley, who will be um, supporting students in career choices and so on, um, as her role um, as careers practitioner sitting alongside communications. They will be in contact and doing Zoom meetings with students. So we're very conscious not to uh, um, leave that behind. It's very important for our students and that will be catered for. Uh, a query came in today about uh, excursions and sacramental programs. Um, we're trying as best we can to postpone some of the, the bigger excursions. Um, five, six, the year five, six ex excursion, for example, we're looking in October and so on. So we'll give you more information. But really, we can't do much more than that at the present time, depending on what happens with COVID. Uh, and also the sacramental program, as you would be aware, the three, four sacramental program has been postponed uh, until next year. We believe probably that the sacramental program for confirmation will also be cancelled this year, but we're still waiting on confirmation of that. So in summing up, I hope you have a lovely weekend. I hope that you can find some peace and tranquility in, in resting up on the weekend if that's possible. Hopefully we get a bit more sunshine, although I do believe a bit of rain's on the way. Now, let us remember also those frontline workers, particularly in healthcare, uh, where there's, I think, 120 plus healthcare workers uh, who um, might be in isolation or more. Um, there are, are plenty of healthcare workers right at that front line in ICU departments. We are going to have a lot more people going into in intensive care units. We're going to need our prayers and certainly we also need to pray for those people who um, are ministering the, the care and expert um, medical support for them. So take care. Um, it was Catherine McCauley who said uh, that we should be shining lamps, giving light to all those around us. Well, I think at the moment, everyone is trying to do that for each other, whether it be in the home, whether it be in the workplace, whether it be here at St. Mary's College. Everyone is trying to do the right thing to support each other, and that is wonderful. Uh, so hopefully over this journey in the next six weeks, we can share the stories, have a few laughs together, cry on the shoulder if need be, uh, but, there is that support available, and we'd love to hear your stories uh, if you could send them into the Marion app, um, smseymour.catholic.edu.au, and Mrs Oakley will be able to share some of the humorous um, possible times along, along the journey. Now, uh, our college motto says protect and care for us. Well, it's probably a very fitting motto at the moment because there's a lot of people that need protection and there's a lot of people that need care. And... Let us hope that uh, that happens for all those who are in that dire need. Uh, now, Rosie. Uh, Rosie wants to announce, and Cook of the Borough wants to announce, that reading time with Rosie will begin again next Friday uh, for the younger students in the school. So we will hopefully start off with a really enjoyable book, and Rosie's very keen um, to start that up again, which is wonderful. And Rosie wanted to also say that she has a block of Cadbury's and she asked me to say if whoever's watching the Facebook video, the first person that puts on Facebook what our college motto is will win this lovely block of Cadbury's dairy milk and that's 
That's if I and Cook up the bar don't eat it beforehand. So whoever's first time will win that lovely uh, block of chocolate. Ladies and gentlemen, stay well. Take care of each other. Uh, if at any time you have any concerns or worries, please email us, get in contact with us, and we'll do our best to support you. But remember, uh, students only come to school if it's essential, and the safest place to be over the oncoming weeks, especially if the amount of uh, tests continue to rise, is to be in your home. Okay, bye-bye, take care, and let's hope the blues continue, and let's hope the Hawks get back on track this weekend.